we go. Now is the pumping nylon routine or the daily warm-up routine. This started out as a series of individual exercises to benefit certain technical problems that I had and later that I found that my students had as well. And they still are good individual exercises, of course, and you'll later pick them out as such, but strung together they make a great warm-up routine. We're going to start out with what I call walking. We're going to start off with left-hand walking, one finger at a time, walking from string to string to string, from the sixth to the first and back again. And we're going to do that with each finger, and then we're going to do it with two fingers. You just follow me. Let's get started. Okay, get your first finger settled there on the F on the sixth string. And as you can see on your screen, you can follow the music. You can also watch my hand. I suggest you do both. Okay, now the key here is to watch my finger here to land squarely and consistently each time. This is an awareness exercise as well as a technical exercise. So be really aware of where you're landing on the fingertip. Number two tip is this. Don't play a really staccato. That's cheating. It gives you too much time to move your finger. I want you to play nice and legato, changing at the last split second. See what I want? I want the movements to be quick, not slow and sluggish. Let's start. We're going to go through fingers, we're going to go fingers one through four as you see them. We're going to repeat each one just once. Let's try it. One, two, ready, go. Let's go right on to two finger walking. One thing I want to mention, keep your right hand fingering simple. I'm just using thumb on the bass strings and IMA on the trebles. You want to keep it simple because we're focusing on the left hand here. Okay, let's dig right in. Go to the first fret. We're going to walk with fingers one and two. A couple things here. You're going to be walking like it's a tightrope. Got it? One behind the other. Okay walking a tightrope. Second of all, when you move, when you're done playing a finger, move it right to the next string. See that? It goes right to the next string. I don't hang around anywhere. I'm not sluggish about it. Number three is you want to maintain some slight distance between your two middle joints here. You don't want to scrunch them together. It'd be like walking with your knees together. You don't want to do that. Let's try it. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Walk a tightrope. Repeat. Let's go to the next fret. Fingers two and three. Get two ready. Walk it on the second fret. Here we go. Ready, play. for you. Slow down and go at your own pace. You don't have to keep up with me. I'm just showing you what it's all about here. So you can practice it more later. Make sure you get right to the next string. Go to the next fret. We're going to walk with three and four. Get ready. Ready. Go.
like to work these two fingers out a little bit more because I feel they're neglected sometimes. And I think they have feelings and they can feel it too. I give them some attention sometimes. Land accurately each time. Don't forget. Don't get lazy. Now, there are some rhythmic variations you can do on the one-fingered and two-fingered walking. I'll just show you a couple of them here. One is a dotted rhythm. It goes like this. Etc., etc. Or you could reverse that and you could go. Let the strings ring. That's okay. You're not giving a concert. Got it? Okay, we got to go on to some slurs, so let's go. Ascending slurs. I call them hammer-ons sometimes, and rightfully so, because you're hammering on a finger. You're going from one finger ascending to another finger. And in a way, you're kind of hammering it on. Now, to get a good-sounding ascending slur or hammer-on, this is what you want to do. I don't want you to come out too far. It's really tempting to go and just slam the string. We tend to want to wind up. And I don't want you to wind up too much. Give yourself some space. I'd say an inch is plenty enough. The key is the speed with which you do or perform the hammer on. You want a, a snapping sort of sound without being percussive. So if you get a nice crisp snap, the slur will be very clear. Okay, so those two things, don't come up too far and make the slur nice and fast. All right, here we go. Now this is going to be like walking. We're going to go over this slur exercise and you can see it on your screen. Now I'm going to play each line slowly and just once. And again, you have the rewind buttons. You have all those little buttons and you probably have the remote in your hand right now. I bet you do. You can go over this anytime. I'll do it slow once and you can repeat them later. I just want to show you how they go. Here we go. We're going to start slurring with one and two. Ready? Go. Notice that I'm trying only to put the energy into the fingers I'm working. I'm not letting my little finger do anything like that. I'm trying to just keep the weight on in this case, the left side of my hand because I'm working with fingers one and two. Let's go to two and three. Now, the cent now that your center of your attention is in the middle of your hand, it's going, you can feel the bones in your hand there, the first, the fingers two and three, and I want you to, to feel as if they're going almost from your elbow all the way up your forearm, through your wrist, and into the tips of your fingers, and leaving these nice and light. Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. If I'm going too fast, go at your own pace or stay on one string. That's fine too. Going right to three and four. Ready? Go. I find it helps to think of a little finger is not stopping at the knuckle joint, but going all the way down to my wrist, so that it goes from the tip down almost to my wrist. Now, it doesn't really, but I'm thinking of it that way. It helps me get some power to my little finger, and it utilize, and helps me really focus on this muscle right here. Okay? Now, let's go to the next one, which is fingers two and four. Three and four and... One and four, three and four and looking good. One more. This is the six. This is the sixth in a combination of six. One and three. Here we go. Ready? Go. 
sanity into that third finger and leave the others alone if you can. If it's really hard for you, if you're three and four, really dependent on one another right now, just keep working at this slow. Slow down to almost half or quarter, or whole notes if you have to. Just like this. If you have a tendency to do that, or squish these together in any way, work it out slowly. Start in the correct position and give it a try. Your success depends on how patiently you can always come back to doing the basic form. Now, staying on my left hand here, let's go into descending slurs. A good descending slur or pull-off means you're basically pulling off from one finger to another. In this case, we'll do two and one. Now notice what I'm not doing. I'm not doing this. I'm not coming up into the air. That doesn't give me a good pull off. That's kind of a, a jump off. I don't want a jump off. I want a pull off. A good pull off entails your finger sliding itself quickly though off the string into the fretboard. Now you're going to hit the next string a little bit, but that's okay. It's like a mini rest stroke. this exercise. Again, it's kind of like walking. We have six common, six variations here, fingering variations. Okay, now I'll go through each one once slowly. Here we go. I'll go through two and one. Ready? Go. I'm going too fast. Slow down. Don't feel like you have to keep up with me. Activate fingers two and one. Next, we're going to go to three and two. Three and four and. Feeling good? I hope so. You can always go back and work on it later. Let's go to fingers four and three. Same thing. And remember, keep that pinky over a little bit on its side. Don't play right in the tip because then your middle joint's in danger of clashing there. Remember, we do not want that. Let's try this. Here we go. Ready? Go. Fingers four and two. Okay, I'm sure you're doing really well. Now we have some triplets, slur variations, except in triplets. This again is going to be walking. We're just going to go up the fingerboard like this, and then back down. Got that? And then we have, again, all the other six combinations to go through. We won't do those right now. But uh, I just want you to make sure that you get a good hammer on and pull off in these triplets. Hammer on, pull off. That's what you need to focus on in the triplet variation of the slurs.